But first, has a 3D or IMAX movie ever made you sick? We'll find out why an undiagnosed vision problem could be the cause, right now on San Diego Living. Well, Alice in Wonderland and Avatar are just two of the 3D films moviegoers can expect to see in theaters. There'll be many more to come, though. Imagine, though, going to a 3D movie and getting sick or just not being able to see the 3D effects. It's happening to a lot of people right now. Optometrist Dr. Carl Hillier is here to explain exactly what's going on. Thanks for being here. Thank you. I couldn't imagine seeing Avatar. I haven't seen Alice in Wonderland yet. Yeah. I, I think it comes out this weekend. Yeah. Um, I couldn't imagine going to see Avatar and not being able to experience the 3D effects, but you say this is happening all the time. It happens all the time, and it's, a, uh, it's devastating when you go to expect a 3D movie and you, everyone's talking about it and you just can't experience it. And what's even worse is if you have symptoms like headaches or nausea or motion sickness at the same time. And you say there's a there's a name for this. It's called stereo blindness. Stereo blindness affects uh, about one out of every 25 people. It's the most common cause of one-eyed blindness in individuals less than 40 years old. Wow. Yeah. And, and you say that 15 to 20 percent of the population uh, that goes to a 3D movie is going to have a tough time seeing it, whether they could see some of the 3D effects or, or just, you know, can't see them at all. 15 That's to right. 20 percent. That's right. Intermittently, they'll have this sense of 3D or they'll have a sense of discomfort or intermittent blurred or double vision. And this is because they're suppressing one eye or not using one eye all the time. And this dysfunction is called a binocular dysfunction, and it can lead to stereo blindness. And, and you brought the 3D glasses with you. Um, you know, the viewers aren't going to be able to experience this, but uh, you were saying if, if you put these on, if parents parents go to the movies yeah. with their with their children and they put these on, what do you do? How do you test? Well, yeah, you can actually do a little bit of a vision test there at the, at the movie theater, and that's why the California Optometric Association is so interested in this whole event of 3D movies, is because you can test your children right then and there. It's like a mini vision test. Yeah, and, and so if your children can't see the 3D effect, which one out of every 25 will not, then what you can do is ask your child to put the glasses on, okay. look at your child, and ask your child if they can see both of your eyes. Okay. And if they can, they're using both eyes. If, they, if one eye is blocked out, and you can test this as a parent by closing one eye, and you'll see that one of those images is yeah. totally blocked out. I just closed my right eye, and I can't see... Yeah, I can't see through to your left. Exactly. So if your child says, I can only see one of your eyes, they're not using one of their eyes. And that's an indication for an examination by a doctor of optometry. And, and the real problem is that, the, you know, not being, it isn't not being able to necessarily three, see a 3D movie. It's an indication... Uh, you know, of other problems as well. Right. The 3D movie is just a, an opportunity to discover, not, you know, not only have a good time at the movies, maybe, but if you're not having a good time at the movies, that means that you're probably having issues if, as a child, possibly in the classroom, having difficulty with reading, for example. Hand-eye coordination as well, if, they, if they're not really good at sports. That's right. And especially ball sports that involve balls in the sky that require three-dimensional vision. When they don't have that stereoscopic view of a baseball coming at them, they're not going to want to play that sport. Yeah, so they're going to have... Uh, talk Talk about some of the symptoms. The, the, you know, poor eye-hand coordination. Right. Uh, they're going to have the blurred vision. Uh, what else? Headaches. Depth, if you're at the movies, they're going to have headaches, discomfort, nausea, possibly a sense of dizziness. Uh, and then if you couple that and you ask, if you know that your child also has difficulty in school, the relationship between vision and academics is very significant. So, those are the academics of move in sports. You avoid all the dynamic three-dimensional space activities. You might be a good runner, a good wrestler, a good swimmer, but baseball, softball, those kind of things just aren't going to be your game. So what should parents do if they suspect, if they, you know, discover, say, at a 3D movie, what should they do? Well, the first thing they should do is uh, do the little experiment. Mm -hmm. that, that does help. But if there's any suspicion at all that their child's having difficulty enjoying the movie, uh, being comfortable, I would strongly recommend uh, going to eyehelp.org, find a doctor of optometry in the California Optometric Association, and get their eyes examined. So you want to go to an optometrist oh, yeah. as soon as possible because, you know, like you said, this, this affects, you know, a lot more than just seeing a 3D movie. It's, you know, their, their learning ability and ultimately their health. That's right. And it's a treatable condition. So there's no reason why a child should suffer through that situation. And you said a lot, it affects a lot of people that, that have a lazy eye. Right. Talk about that. Well, a lazy eye, or the formal term amblyopia, is a term whereby the eye can't appreciate the clarity that's available to it. So the brain, back here in the occipital lobe, which is full of cells that where we really see from, you know, and 80% of those cells are what's called binocular cells. When there's amblyopia, when one eye doesn't send information back to the occipital lobe, then the individual can't appreciate three-dimensional vision. 
And so this is the, the aspect of binocular dysfunction that results in a person becoming stereo blind. Gotcha. Yeah. So you want to go to an optometrist to, to get it checked out as soon as possible. All Absolutely. right. Absolutely. And uh, Dr. Hillier, how can people get a hold of you? Uh, we well, can get a hold of me through uh, my website, San Diego Center for Vision Care com, or just Google my name, and that would be fine too. But or, or all just, over. Or just go on to iHelp.org. Too, iHelp right? org is really where you should go to okay. get anyone in the in the state of California to check it out. Perfect. All right, Dr. Thank Carl you. Hillier, thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you. Great information. You're welcome.